Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a protein shake after weight training session. See if that drops me out of ketosis like I thought it has in the past. Well, shoot, not even close to ketosis. Well, the challenge must go on. Uh, so after about 30 minutes, we'd expect to see a drop, but we saw none. 6 a.m., time for a bike ride. Too early. I just got back from that short ride. Uh, again, while I'm not training for a race these days, I'm just doing about 30 minutes of cardio in the morning. Uh, lunchtime workouts, either swimming or lifting, and then the longer workouts on the uh, on the weekends. So later today, I'm going to try this uh, little taste test of this uh, EAS shake here. Comes around two, one scoop away. Just finished short leg day. I haven't checked my ketone level yet. I want to get this in right away, and then I'll check. I want to be able to check all these before I have to get back to work. Doesn't uh, doesn't give me a big window. So I'd expect 30 minutes to be an ideal time frame, but. For protein, we may need to follow it out uh, a little bit longer, so that might have to be looked at another day. So, no significant drop, really, considering there's a few grams of carbs in there. Up in Canada for the weekend, gonna sneak in a quick run. Look at that, sun's popping out. It's been sunny for weeks and it's uh, we have a couple cloudy days. Nice and cool. Well, I hope this was beneficial. Uh, stay tuned for other experiments coming up. And make sure to subscribe so you can catch them all. Have a good one.